hate puppies. It's a good podcast. I feel threatened. a nice person this song is awesome <laughs> yes well, i agree gets me fired up actually if you just saw the uh, moves i was putting down right there i was putting down some serious air drum there you look like a one-armed drummer from def leppard dude you were killing it i feel like the one-eyed drummer from <laughs> Def <Leppard. laughs> that's for fucking sure man <laughs> Arr, maybe it probably shiver me timbers it's not great pod but if you guys could see my face I mean, how's it looking to you guys right now? Is it starting to look? Like, I got a. You're kind of lit from the back, so I'm getting a shadow. Yeah, I don't think so it's not that good. Supposed to run down your face like that, like yeah. normally. I feel like my eyes are starting to itch. Just, just looking. <laughs> yeah, at I want to scratch my face. <laughs> I could see that. That's uh, that's about right. Welcome to Inside the Pallet House, everybody. Thank you for joining us again this week. I'm regretting hugging it out with you when we got here. It's a, it's a, <laughs> dude. So, my my right eye has got a sty in it that uh, is just it's pregnant with other styes. Is what I think is going you sh- on. And there. you're sure it's not herpes? That's no, I'm not. I'm not certain of any of that. No. Okay. I, he didn't say that in his defense. He did not say that. Yeah, it's it's a sty, Jason. I have a sty that runs from my eye to my balls. <laughs> so, uh, no, I've got uh, so backed up. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, I've got this. Uh, I, I don't know. I get styes and like pink eye. Like everyone's like, oh, don't worry. You won't get pink eye. You're an adult. I'm like, bro, I've had pink eye steady since I was three. Like, yeah. it is, I don't know what the Adding hell. kids to the mix helps. Oh, my God. It's the worst. <laughs> but I've got this sty in my right eye and it's like it. it is just so swollen. Like I look like like Quasimodo. Over here, it's brutal. And last week, I got a sty midweek in my right eye, and I was like, "Ow, oh, that hurt." Then in my left eye, I got two styes Jeez. on the lower eyelid, and I was like, "Oh, that really hurts." And I had like all these meetings, like I had to get jump on a plane, go out to Atlanta, <laughs> oh. and I'm like scraping the styes, like "Get out, get out of my eye!" Like you got to go away. And like I'm reading all these things, they're like, don't ever scrape a sty because what happens is you release like the the staph bacteria, and you're just gonna get more styes. Dude, you like, gotta start washing your hands after you poop, man. I wash my hands, <laughs> <laughs> or stop rubbing your eyes after you poop. One or two. Just stop wiping my ass with my eyes. <laughs> yeah. so, so you showed up at the meeting with a with a. Uh, case of nectars and you were rocking a pair you're like that was basically today's the sunglass free oh, day man. check That's, it out yep today i'm rocking sunglasses itph and the coupon code people <laughs> get 20 percent off but i was I, I i scraped them out and i might have spread it i don't know but i also like was mowing the lawn this weekend it's the first time mowing like yeah kicking up all of the pollen and all the nonsense six months worth the and whatnot. i was i was getting crushed in the eye the whole time and like <laughs> feeling things hitting my face and just like, well, I'm not gonna not gonna wear my nectars. I'll scratch them. Yeah, uh, just let my corneas. <laughs> my, my eyes have this. Let me get you some uh, safety goggles, like not glasses, but like goggles. Well, that's what I was wondering. Goggles that go around, In case, right? Yeah, I, that is probably some what wraparounds. I need. No, like some shit that like sits against your face. Like, As, yeah, like so Rex nothing against yeah. kind of things. Airtight stuff. Is like, I did used to have like a, science lab stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you that way you can protect your. Protect these, your eyeballs, these. dude. I this thing hurts so bad, and I, I had meetings today in Maryland. And last night, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "How does that go? Do you like mention it, or are you just like?" I mentioned it to the first people I saw, and they were like, "Oh, I don't think it's that bad." And I was like, "All right," and I think I'm okay because because <laughs> that's what everyone's so, gonna what, say. Yeah, exactly. but like I'm sitting outside the meeting, like holding a coffee mug to my face, you know, like <laughs> yeah, like warming heat, it, yeah, because that'll like keep it down, I guess, a little bit. And then by the time I was like done, it was like a two hour meeting. They're like, "Have you seen how Brendan drinks coffee? That guy's weird." 
<laughs> yeah, he's drinking it through his <laughs> eyes. Dude didn't wash his hands. <laughs> that explains why his eyes are so fucking swollen. Who pours coffee in their eye before a meeting? Just getting psyched up, bro. Want to talk to you about some stuff? <laughs> Need the caffeine in my bloodstream now. It's the fastest way. That's dude. right. But I could tell, like halfway through the meeting, about an hour into the meeting, my eye must have decided to come back to life. Because people, like, you'd turn and look someone in the eye, and they'd be like, Ugh. Which one do I look at? Ah. <laughs> yeah, They're looking away the whole time. They're like, ah, I, up at this. Uh, my neighbor's like, uh, he's a great guy, but he has, like, uh, a lazy eye. Oh, and, no. And it's hard to, you know, you want to be respectful. So what eye do you look at? Yeah. What, like, seriously, like, do you look at the lazy one, or do you look at... What? Well, it's you hard, never know which yeah, one's are you, are you offending them if you look at just the lazy eye? I find that I look... At the bridge of their nose. Yes, that's the key. Okay, I just uh, <laughs> that's just one of those weird things. I don't know. If I'm looking you, di- if I'm looking you directly it. between the eyes, you can't tell where I'm looking. You just I know, but I, I get anxious I know, actually, about. I've it. always like, wondered about I'm this. All right, Jason, I am staring directly at your nose. Do I look like I'm looking you in the eyes right now, or can you tell that I'm a little off? <laughs> It looks a little off to me. It does honestly. look a little yeah. off. But it, it could be the giant oh, sty in that's right. fucking eye. Yeah, let me, <laughs> let me use someone with two normal eyes because you're like, no, something's I, off. I don't know which eye to look at with you. So, But it did look, did seem a little off it dis- did. despite it did. the inflammation. It looked like you were just kind of staring off into space, like you weren't really listening. Well, I'm not. I, I figured. Well, there's that. <laughs> no, but so I've always have done that, that. interpersonal connection with you. That's that's what it was. Yeah, maybe, well, they've always said if you... St- I've always heard that. You stare yeah. at the nose. But then I've always been like, I feel like I'm not making eye contact here. Eye contact right, Don't you feel weird. weird about it? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? Like you get a little bit of discomfort. With the lazy eye guy or just right. in general? Right. Because eye contact's weird in guy. general. Like there's too much and not enough. I don't want to look too lovingly at you, you Yeah, Troy. you got to hit the you got to hit the right amount and then move along. Look like, away. I he'll remember. Know, he'll, he'll, he'll know. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I read somewhere that like. 30 seconds of eye contact could make someone fall in love with you. Wow. And and, and like I, straight or total. Well, and so I I don't know. I just yeah, yeah. I just I just read it as a kid. Oh no. And was like Oh no, don't tell me this. So it's I, would, go where I think it's going to go. Well, I would freak out that I was staring too long in people's eyes cuz I didn't want like dudes to fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, That's not where I thought this was going. <laughs> So I was like really self conscious because yeah. I didn't want to like accidentally make people fall in now love. Now I with know why all these guys love me. <laughs> but I Too would much break I would break eye contact yeah. all the time. I'd be like staring at me like Mississippi. I'd be like, Oh, I'm Mississippi. paying way too much attention. Like, <laughs> this dude's gonna fall in love with me. So I would <laughs> look I would, away. I would look away. Jesus. Yeah. I was very concerned about it. But then there were other girls that I'm sure I creeped out because I'd be like, Well, let's test it. And yeah. it's like now I'm in a damn staring contest with yeah. them and they're like what the hell is this guy doing? And then they're breaking eye contact. And then my fear was, oh, God, am I going to fall in love? Yeah. Like, I was such a weird kid. I would read this stuff and just That doesn't seem it. too weird. I mean, kids kind of, I mean, when you read something, as, it seems black and white, you know? like Yeah, you're like, oh, this study is 100%. But I definitely pictured you, like, reading that and being like, all right. Old Sally over there, I've had my eye on her, walk <laughs> right up to her and just stare seconds. at her. Yeah. <laughs> right in the I eyes. I know how to make it work the easiest thing in the world yeah i was always really self-conscious about how long i was staring people in the eyes and then i realized later in life that studies aren't all fact what (laughs) what yeah it was mind-blowing you were way ahead of your time because in 2018 everything's fact that's very true says social media (laughs) well i can tell you that putting um a tea bag on your eye. Let the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> they write themselves, I, folks. I, yeah. <laughs> I will. I will clip that. <laughs> Get that drop. So I'll clip that tea bag. Well, and apparently, uh, black tea bags have <laughs> antioxidants in it. And come so, on, dude. What are you doing? Sorry. I'm just trying to fucking tell you guys how I'm dealing with my stuff. Sorry, we're juveniles here. So I've been like, my kids have seen me now with like putting like like black tea bags on my eye. <laughs> And then I've been putting like ice cubes on my eye and then like warm compresses yeah. and like I've been doing Cucumbers. all this stuff. And they're just like, what in the world is What's up with, with dad? dad? Like he does not know how to drink tea. <laughs> like, this guy's crazy. He's so into himself. He can't stop facialing himself. He's always doing Yeah. And it's not working. Have yeah. you seen his eyes look horrible? Yeah. It's just oozing. Dad, I know what's wrong with your eye. You keep putting foreign objects in it. <laughs> like, stop putting <laughs> shit in your eye. 
Yeah, it's been absolutely killing me, and it's not a good look. And I get self conscious about it because I know I look really, really awkward. And my job is to go into meetings and instill confidence in people on yeah. the other side <laughs> of that table, and they're scared to look at me. Maybe they're like, "Damn, Brendan stood up in front of all of us and pitched that hardcore." With that third eye he had going on. Can you believe it? Let's buy whatever he's selling. Yeah, the confidence on yeah. this guy. <laughs> I, mean, I would have called out of work. I wouldn't have gone out in public. I have no choice. I drove <laughs> hours to get to these people. I'm here. And today it was, it was all uh, doctors. And I was just waiting for one of them. <laughs> Give me some meds. <laughs> Give right you a prescription. Well, it's always worse <laughs> in your own head, too. Like, if you have a zit or something, you always feel like yes. it's like, you know has its own gravitational pull and of course you're like look at this it and people are like what are you talking about yeah it's really all you see is yeah. your your, your flaws. yeah yeah whatever it may be it's the same thing with like if you lay tile or yes. something you always just see that one, one tile. spot yeah. you're like, ah, fuck you. Ah. yes well it's and, probably hard for you because you don't have any imperfections so it's probably like really hard for you to I see I, I see I must have stared in your eyes for 31 <laughs> seconds <laughs> at some point. Damn it. You're saying all the right things, Troy. <laughs> I know where this is going to go later. This is going great. <laughs> Too long. It's like that reverse Medusa. The reverse Medusa. Have you ever done that? <laughs> is, that, is that an urban dictionary thing? I'm not I assume with. it's. I'm assume that's. Sounds you, like it should be. Yeah, I'm assume that's when you go limp. <laughs> <laughs> is the reverse Medusa? Somebody please write an entry now if it's not there. Yeah. Hit us up with your best re- reverse Medusa stories. Oh my God! I feel like I'm the king of the reverse <laughs> Medusa. <laughs> yeah, I start with out stone to limp. <laughs> yeah, um, oh be like, God. oh baby, I got you again. <laughs> Did the old reverse <laughs> Medusa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you just hear the game show. Uh, that's like a whoopee sound wave. Yeah. <laughs> womp womp. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I was drinking a bunch the other night. I pulled a reverse Medusa. Oh, <laughs> oh my With God. With the lights on? Oh, man. Oh, it's, the, <laughs> it's the greatest <laughs> sex move there's a, ever. There's a bell curve to that drinking. Like, it's like, yeah, just, the, just right, you have and a then couple, there's too much. Yeah, you have a couple of drinks, and you're like full Medusa. Yeah. And then you have about 15 drinks, and you're just reverse, reverse. Medusa. <laughs> I love it. We just invented yep. a whole new... A whole new we got the show. We got the show name. <laughs> the reverse Medusa. <laughs> we got the episode name. I like Ironed that. out early. Write that down. That's a winner. <laughs> oh my god! I'm the king of it. Uh, with this eye, though, I mean, <laughs> I don't see how anyone could stay Medusa with me. <laughs> I was gonna say the wife's gonna go reverse Medusa on you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So build the dam. That's right. It's no more fluids. Sahara Desert. <laughs> Yeah, this eye though, man. I don't know, man. It every time I blink, I'm hyper aware. Uh, it just, it just hurts. If anyone out there hurts to sleep, it. is it waking up in your sleep? It. That's it when has. you know things are bad. <laughs> when it wakes you up, when you do something to, to your body and then like you roll over or something, you're like, oh. Or you're pulling shit out of your eyes. Uh, yeah, that's. That's and fun. that's what I was doing after I did the lawn on on Sunday. I was like, uh oh, this is yeah. When you're taking tweezers to your bad. eyes, not a good thing. It does surprise you that you don't just see more people with one eye. The eye is so vulnerable. It's like always what? just looking to get you're hurt. Put your eye yeah. out with that. Yeah, I mean, how many times have you almost taken one of your eyes out? And that's just you. You know, like yeah, so a million times. I mean, you think you just, you think. One out of every twenty people would have one. You know, like <laughs> there should be. Yeah, I'm starting an eye patch emporium. Yeah, this will add this to the string of business it ideas. It is really <laughs> odd that we. If you think, if you really think about how vulnerable the eye is, you have two of them. There, I mean, you can blink. That's about all you can do to protect it. And it's like there's shit flying in your face constantly. I mean, and how many times do you blink and actually like avoid like your eye yeah. goes? Oh shit, blinks, and you're like. I didn't even see it, yet my yeah. eye blinked and something smashed me in the eye. Yeah. It was like, damn, well done, eye. <laughs> like, good job. Good reflexes. I am shocked now that you say that. Well, hopefully this doesn't turn into some infection where I do lose my <laughs> eye. I'll be like, guys, if, if we don't want, I don't want to put One that in episode. 19 people. Watch that shit. <laughs> that shit actually happened to one of my friends. Like, he got something in his oh, eye. Oh, God. Here blowing we go. mulch. And yeah, he had to have like multiple surgeries. And- Did he, ne- he didn't go to the doctor or anything? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I'm not too happy about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I'm just too- saying, man. Uh, yeah, watch it. You- you'll be fine. But <laughs> <laughs> it won't happen to you. Oh, it, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be great. You're yeah, gonna be you're great. fine. Oh my god, now it just it just hurts <laughs> so bad. Now that's all you can think about now. It really is. It put sunglasses it put on. Sunglasses put on. some nectars on. I am officially. You look better. Out. I did have some random dude approach me at, at Brewster's, like, "Where did you get those sunglasses?" And uh, were you rocking nectars? I was rocking nectars actually. And I'm like, I "Nectar, like check it. out the website." I mean, I was like, "Damn, I should I should get like a royalty check yeah. for this." Uh, it's called the spiel. internet. Yeah, we have not been pushing the nectars enough lately. I think the show and has just gotten crazy, but certainly. But I pushed s- the show as well. Because I was uh, like, you got to drop that ITPH yeah. code. He's like, what is that? Your personal passcode for the site? And I'm like, no, no. Inside the Pallet House. <laughs> I was like, what kind of podcast do you listen to? He's like, oh, I listen to Joe Rogan. I'm like, you'll love it. Everybody <laughs> listens to Joe Rogan. It really is like, it's the gateway drug to yeah. podcasts. It's like, I don't really know if I like podcasts. Well, try try some Joe Rogan. But yeah. I feel like he's not vanilla. I mean, it's no. pretty, pretty vulgar. So if you can handle Joe Rogan, you can handle this podcast. I would like to think so. Yeah. yeah. And you do need to go check out Nectar's got a lot of new stuff. We you should head over there. The coupon code still works. Yeah. ITPH. You still get twenty percent off, which is a hell of a deal. If you don't live in the Richmond area, it might even be springtime where you are. And I mean love, not here. They love bees. Jeez. All your uh, a lot of the proceeds go to Oh yeah. Uh, yeah save, the save the bees. Save the bees. Planting flowers and such. Yeah, we have not. Our our spring came and just for enough for day. me to go out there like a jagoff, mow the whole thing down. Lay a bunch of seed, and then I'm because I'm and like stare at it out your window, for, yeah. and I'm looking at the weather, and I'm like, ten days of spring. I think I timed it perfectly. Yeah. And then I waited <laughs> two days, and it was like snow alert, snow <laughs> alert. And oh, I was it's... like, what just happened here? Yeah, Virginia it's man, killing me. It's pissing me off. It's affecting my mood on a daily basis. Like it's really starting to irritate well, Doesn't me. a lot of shit affect your mood on a daily basis? The weather really does. The older I get... <laughs> I know he, it a lot affects Ely. <laughs> the older I get, the more the weather affects I'm me. I don't even know how to phrase my feelings right now. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying the older I get, the more the like lack of warmth and sun really starts to irritate me. I don't know how you guys are, but... I think this is why old people end up in Florida. I mean, that's I mean, not I a get coincidence. It. That's yeah. why I'm I get staring it. at you more for like 31 <laughs> seconds, man. Trying to give me to fall in love so I can get over the weather. It might work. That's why I have to wear these nectars. <laughs> you look, I'm look like honestly a badass gonna, over there now. I honestly have to wear these the rest of the show because yeah. I, I'm, I'm like blinking so much. I'm squinting. I don't want you guys to watch what... Well, you look cool, too. This fucking... Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But this disaster over here, man. I actually was in Atlanta last uh, last week for a few days and got to hang out with uh, a couple guys, and, and they showed up wearing nectars. Nice. And they rolled up. I was like, yes, like, look at this. I love to see that. You like to think you're taking credit, we're taking credit for that? Well, you know, so know what? I, I learned a new trick. Like, I was, I was in Atlanta, and I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to book, like, a 1040 flight because this way I can go out to happy hour with some friends. Yeah. They don't treat it like it's a happy hour when they haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. And they're like, okay, so you, you're ejecting at nine. Perfect. We're going to get you hammered. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. This is, a, this, is a casual, this is a casual happy hour, my friends. We're just going to kick back and relax. Yeah. Next thing I know, absolute just disaster. Were shots in play, I'm, I'm assuming? No shots. Really? Which okay, was crazy, but they kept drinking beers every time they'd... So when one of them would finish a beer, they'd, they'd order me two. a beer. Yeah. Then the other one would finish a beer, he'd order me a beer. I'm like, Whoa, I'm still guys, working on this one. This isn't how this works, fellas. Like, this is crazy. And the night turns into... We went to my favorite place. If you're ever in Atlanta, they have like three of these. They're called Vortex Burger. And Vortex Burger is the absolute shit because they will not allow anyone under 21 in there. You go in there for lunch, you're not bringing your kids. Really? They have put the line in the sand. They are like That's a big line to draw. They're like you can still smoke in here. It's 21 and up. It's a very different kind of place. The pictures on the wall are a little more provocative than they should be. Nice. And the burgers are over the top and they're just some of the best damn burgers I've wow. I've ever had. But so we were up in there throwing down, and then, you know, 9 o'clock comes, and I'm like, all right, I'm getting out of here, you know. And I hit eject on my Uber. I'm standing there on the corner. 
Uber's not coming. I'm watching. Then they, what? after like five minutes, they're like, well, we're going to hit the Uber. And I'm like, yeah, no worries. So they eject. They get out before me. I'm like, well, damn, now I'm standing here on this fucking corner. Like, where is this guy? And I noticed Where's all that, your like, stuff. Oh, all around me. I got oh, you had. Yeah, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm standing on a corner just completely hammered. So you went out. O'clock. You went out drinking with all your luggage. Yes. Nice. The entire time dragging it around from bar <laughs> nice. to bar. And I'm standing out on this corner. And finally, I'm like, all right, it, according to the app, this guy hasn't moved in five minutes. Yeah. He's down the way. And so I call the guy up and he's like, well, you put in the wrong address. And I'm like, well, no, I just hit the, the, yeah. the button. <laughs> I didn't enter an address. <laughs> and, like, and he's like, yeah, you put in the wrong address. I- I'm coming. I'm coming. And I'm like, all right, we're not off to a great start <laughs> here. It sounds like Uber. So this dude shows up and I immediately... You know, try to like jump in the front seat, which makes him have to move all his shit. But yeah. I'm feeling like, like I've been drinking all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like so whatever, I, dude. Yeah, throw all my shit. Quit harshing my buzz. <laughs> and he's already so pissed off at me because I have. You, how I dare have com- you? Completely screwed yeah. him. And he's like, but I, I never give up on a fare, so I was gonna r- ride it out and get you. And I'm like. Okay, yeah, let me slow cut for that. I'm literally standing on the corner. It says this is where I hit it, and you're yeah. a block, but I'm not going to argue with you. And he's this big ass gruff dude, right? And he's like mad at me, like a lot. And I'm like, well, what a stupid app. I can't wait like, to hear how much he tips him, because you know Kennedy tipped him a ton. Well, so we're, we we start driving along, right? And someone like like tailgates him, uh huh. And we get to this light, and the person's like. Err. Just err, little horn honk, like, right? Once the light turned green, this mother, yeah. Uh, so the yeah, light like, like a, he fucking loses it. <laughs> he's like, he's like this motherfucker right here, and he fucking gets out of the car. Oh no, he didn't. And I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be here if you Wait, need me, what? Uber. Oh my <laughs> god! My and he goes storming back to the car he's like you got a problem motherfucker you got a fucking problem and i'm like whoa i'm like oh, okay this isn't this is this is where bull- you're in atlanta this yeah. is where bullets get start spraying and i'm like this is this is not a good scene but you know i gotta get to the airport yeah I'm trying to i do have a flight to catch <laughs> sir i gotta catch a flight <laughs> and you're half in the bag and i'm hammered i can't even drive his car like if he gets killed like i'm stuck here i'm like come on man Just grab your bags and walk away and so he gets back in the car after screaming at this dude. Point, and this dude did not roll his window down. He's like, who? who yeah, you know, <laughs> the guy's in like a Mercedes. And it was one of those friendly, like, hey, the light light screen. Yeah, honk. this dude wasn't yeah. even being a total. And, and then he gets back in. He's like, nothing pisses me off more than when some motherfucker honks their horn. Like they know where I got going on, and I don't know. There, yeah, show some respect. And he's he's losing it. Wow. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, that dude's a dick, you know. And I, and then he starts. Is this st- our Uber spot. For the night, he starts. Yeah. <laughs> then he starts right in about his time in Vietnam. Oh and no! The, and the shit he had to see there. And I'm like, oh no! Like this guy's horn just brought up this <laughs> yeah. dude's PTSD. He's having a flashback. Oh and I'm trying to get to the fucking airport, and then he just starts telling me like Vietnam War stories. Oh no! About being on in the jungles. He's like, I was in Hanoi, and I was, dying. and I'm just like, oh no! So then he's going off about this and how it's just, you know, this world is so. Guy's in a bad place. This guy was in a horrible place, and I, of course, th- I'm the one who's <laughs> yeah. The Uber app sends him to the wrong place. <laughs> you're, you're a psychologist. So you're drunk. It's drunk. And so I'm, I'm trying to like. <laughs> mellow the dude out and he's doing about 15 under the speed limit on the on the highway at this point we're in the right lane and like, so this guy's 65 or 70 right you speed yeah. it up sir yeah he's an old <laughs> man but he's a big old man like he he's he i wouldn't want to fight this guy no it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like anybody should want to fight him he was he was mad as hell and then though all of a sudden somehow the conversation shifts from vietnam to Chick Fil A, yeah, that's how they all go. Natural progression. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I don't Does see. He how... hate Chick Fil A as much. No, so it turns out that he lives around the corner from the original Chick Fil A. So okay. he's talking about how he comes back and like from Nam, basically Chick Fil A. So he's was like, it Sunday? Oh he's god, like, that fucker was closed on Sunday. <laughs> I haven't had Chick Fil A since. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I yeah. thought it was bad over there. And then I got back here and. Chick-fil-A was closed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw some shit. 
I fought for this country, <laughs> goddamn it. And this is the thanks they give me. These fucking religious motherfuckers and their chicken. Uh, he was losing it. And then the, <laughs> then he starts talking about Chick-fil-A. And he's like, it's the original Chick-fil-A. He's like, I've been eating Chick-fil-A longer than before it was ever called Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then, you know, the, so this starts, I find a topic that seems to make him happy because his hometown is proud to be the original yeah. Chick-fil-A. And he's like, still looks the same. And I still eat there all the time. And I'm like, oh, thank God. We talked about Chick-fil-A the whole way just because it was the yeah. only thing that would keep him even keeled. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, you know, I've been going in there getting coffee every day for as long as I live. And he's like, but then right towards the end of the ride, he's like, now the crowds, people oh. make pilgrimages oh, no. to come see this Chick-fil-A. And I'm like, and this, this is, is my, my Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he's screaming, it's my Chick-fil-A. I can't even get a damn coffee because there's people lined up taking pictures and selfies outside of my Chick-fil-A. Oh, my and God. And I'm just like, oh, please let this ride end. <laughs> This must have been the longest Uber ride ever. Finally, we get there, and he's like, now he's pissed off because he's trying to have, find a way to like weasel oh, yeah, me yeah. in. And I'm you're, just, you're not just sliding into the Atlanta airport. No, even though it's nine thirty at night at this yeah. point, I'm just like, dude, just I'm I'm good. I'll walk. I'm Drop good. me off here. He's like, he's like, you said Delta. I was like, nope, Spirit. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. Yeah, I'm I'm like, if you could just let me off right here, sir. <laughs> and I got out. I did. I tipped him ten dollars. Yeah, you did. <laughs> For for his stories, because I, oh he didn't God. he didn't kill me. Yeah, I guess that was a. Uh, I was like, this guy's going to have ten bucks. Yeah, go. like just let me go. <laughs> like I got out of that. I never got out of an Uber so fast. <laughs> that guy went through. Every, he tried to fight somebody. He started recanting just Nom hor- stories. horrific Holy stories from cow. Vietnam. Then I thought we had a good topic in Chick Fil A, and then he tells me it's the first Chick Fil A and all these. Fucking assholes I was waiting, taking <laughs> selfies, and I'm like, oh god. I was waiting, him, waiting for him to go off on like a sauce he didn't like or something. Yeah, what's this Polynesian <laughs> yeah. sauce? I spent enough time in the exactly. jungles. I don't need Polynesian <laughs> sauce when I get back here. Don't they know what that shit is? That's people. It. It's people in the Polynesian and sauce. Rubbing it in my face. You know they did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have that shit till I got back. Oh, so dude, that's brutal. Like spicy chicken. <laughs> and then I got in there, and I'm all ham bone. And then they delay my my flight gets delayed. I'm uh, like, oh no, I already taken the nine four or the ten forty flight. Yeah. Uh, Next thing I know, like we don't leave till like eleven thirty, damn near midnight, somewhere in there. I whoa. get home at two in the morning, and I'm like, I still can't drive. Like this is. Oh horrible. wow. It was a very interesting night for me. I I, I learned my lesson. Same guy picked you up from there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through I could get here in under an hour yeah. from Atlanta to Richmond. Hey, uh I got, an like au- I got an awkward transition. How far are we into this? Uh, this show? Twenty seven minutes. Um for the listeners who haven't pieced it together, Ely's not here. And we have Jason here. <laughs> Which hey. you probably already know. Jason's been here enough. I'm hoping everyone knows his voice, but I just realized we I didn't guess get we into never. that. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Who did not know that? That's the question. Yeah, that is. I'm uh, sure everybody knew, but I just wanted to clear that up. Oh, I, I do have a little gift for you guys. Oh. I wanna, I wanna t- 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 All right, here, touch, touch my eye. I touch <laughs> yeah. your eye. No, I got, I got something I want to show you. You go ahead. You can describe the scene. Okay. I'm gonna, I have to take off my headphones for a moment. Okay. So he's taking off his glasses and his headphone. Oh, and this. Cubs oh. sweatshirt's coming off. Oh, and he is rocking hey, what oh. Brendan would call a blue. <laughs> the rest of us would call no, it purple. a purple shirt no. that says, I'm not gay. Hold on, I can't read it. I just love Miatas. And it's got a red Miata, Miata with, with a, a rainbow. rainbow going over it. I, I, I want, love it. I want, you to, <laughs> I want one of you to read, read this Go card. ahead, Jason. I'm not gay. I just have a Miata. I just All love right. Miata. I just love Miatas. And you do have one. I, I'm aware. <laughs> so I get a package in the mail, right? <laughs> the package shows up, and it just it says from uh, J. Rua Salon, Las Vegas. What's that? I didn't know at the time, but apparently it's a, it's a pretty famous salon in Las Vegas. And uh, the guy is a little bit like uh, social media famous, like okay. on Facebook and Instagram. His name's Jay Rua. He's got the salon. <laughs> he's a listener. I don't know. I'd like to think maybe he's yeah. a listener, but I, I don't I don't know who sends this stuff. Yeah. Man. 
But I get this shirt in the mail. It's a cool shirt. And it's got a Miata with a rainbow over it and yeah. says what you see it says. You know, I'm not gay. I just love Miatas. And I thought, well, thanks. There's something I can't wear in public. I can't believe he assumed you weren't gay. I think everybody knows I'm not gay. <laughs> but so, so this, this, it came with a handwritten card. Okay. Like an actual card. Jason, do you mind reading that card to I, me? I do not. Jay Rua, do you mind reading this card? I do not. It says, Happy B. I heard of oh. a- Hey B, if you read it properly. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Here, you want me to take over? Hi B. There we go. Hi B. I heard about your new whip and joining the club. Vruma Vruma. <laughs> me and the boys are totes excited. <laughs> I got you this awesome blue shirt <laughs> to play in. P, but it's play, all caps. Yes. P dot L dot A dot. Why, Doc? So it's an acronym for it's something. Acronym. I agree, and I can't figure out what. Hmm. Yeah, and then JR. Sign, JR. 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 Sign JR. Huh. Sorry, it's, it's a, Hey B, not Happy B. It's but a great. I think it was a birthday. It's a present. great note. Yes, I love the room. On some Vruma. fancy stationery too. Like yes. me and the boys with a Z. Me and the boys are totes excited. Is there another way to spell it? I got you this awesome blue shirt to P L A Y N, J R. Which is funny because my kids immediately go, cool purple shirt, dad. (laughs) And I was like, oh, this fucker's a listener. thinks he's funny. (laughs) And so that was my first clue that this may not be Jay Rua from Las Vegas. But the actual return address, and if you look at the, it says it's shipped from Vegas. Whoa. So the thing was shipped from Vegas with the return address of Jay Rua Salon. (laughs) <laughs> we are we are getting played by listeners left and left right and right <laughs> and I love it and I don't know who these people are it's it's throwing me for a loop man but there's no way that Jay Rue is a listener right I don't know <laughs> and if so like then I should take this as thank you Jay Rue yes this is a great gift so to Jay Rue thank you so much for the shirt. To the listener who's <laughs> pretending to be Jay Rua, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> with your your blue, <laughs> purple shirt with a Miata on it. And I love that the Miata has like Japanese characters on the license plate. Like it's like a stock image from Japan. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's even better. <laughs> and it's red. It's red, of course. And you can't see with it. a beautiful rainbow directly, directly over, over it. the Miata. Like it's, it's gorgeous. Like it's the pot of gold. And my kids think this shirt is fantastic. Oh, yeah. But the, I forget the kids can read now. Oh, yeah. And my one daughter's like, I'm not g- gay. Yeah. I just love Miatas. That's your car, Dad. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. They didn't and, ask, though. They no, didn't. they don't, because it means nothing. Yeah. It's like, like, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. And plus to them... It'll never mean anything weird. Yeah. It'll never, like, to us, it was abnormal at first, and then we've, you know, everything's changed. It's not. It, it's yeah. Just, it just yeah. is. Yeah. So. That's my, my, awesome, my dude. kids think I'm gay. You're going to wear that next time we take the Miatas out? Do we I, talk about that? No, but I'll probably wear it to the Miata Club that I'm thinking about joining or something. I, I think don't you should. They'll, they'll get a, a, a rise out of it, I'm sure. But what I think is even better about this joke is, is that I've always referred to it. I've never used the word gay on the air. I've never once no. referred to it. I've always called it a hairdresser's, hairdresser's car. Yeah. <laughs> and a hairdresser. And a hairdresser <laughs> sent me the damn. So on many levels, I dig this person's joke. I'm like, I'm like well done, person, you random listener. But I, I just, I can't believe that it's. JR. It's yeah, but what is P L A Y? I, 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 que- I throw that out to everybody in the listening audience. Like, Oh, you can Google it all you want, Jason. I've tried. Nothing nothing, nothing comes up. It's like video games. And yeah. Stuff. Make, make, it, make up your own. P-L-A-Y. And I can't figure out why. But that's obviously a clue, right? Because the, the way they wrote it. I want to hear from yeah. listeners, except for Alex. I don't care what she has to say about it because she's very bad at acronyms. Very much so. Yeah. So we're not going to take any advice from her on that. Did we tell you, Jason? Did you hear about Brennan and I taking a couple of Miatas out a couple weeks ago? A couple of Miatas. Yeah, I borrowed my father-in-law's, and we went on a little... <laughs> well, that's what I heard Miata's plural. Yeah, yeah. I was like, did you get one? No, my father-in-law I had tried one. to convince him because nothing helps like getting someone else to do it, too, because then you're like, see, we're not both hairdressers. Well, pff, we had like a, bro? 
We had like a 55 Thank degree you. Sunday out of the blue. Sunny and 55. It was warm enough. And he hit me up and was like, hey, man, you got access to that Miata? And I was like, Let's yeah. Go for, go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like what dorks do when they don't have motorcycles. Yeah, like like real real men go. Hey, I'm gonna take out the old hog today. That's you wanna, right. You want to join me on some country roads? And then like the real men call the other real men. They put smoke signals in the air. Yeah. And like that's not how. I'm like, hey, bro, you want to go on a ride in the Miatas? And this hairdresser said, Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Now I assumed it was gonna be a good time. But I was quite surprised with what it actually was. It was a very good time. No, oh, I'm Holy cow. It's a blast. I'm, I I agree. I've been catching a lot of flack for having the Miata. But I, the they more get a I, lot of looks. Those cars do get a lot of looks. Now, I don't know who from whom. You probably can speak to that better. But We got some waves from other Miatas that you were definitely out. definitely get that. I've noticed that's a thing. Like, it's like the Jeep wave kind of thing. But it's not Miatas. as prevalent. Because it's like whoever has the first generation Miata, they always wave. It's like respect. The second generation doesn't wave as much, and the new Miatas don't wave at you at all because they're like, that's when these cars were lame, dork. Yeah. And like, they don't want to wave. Yeah, the shit's cool now. Yeah, but all the early people, like the, the early adopters. Yeah, those first generation Miata people, they wave to you. It's uh, We ended up out by your house, actually. We uh, Oh, thanks for inviting me out. You don't have a Miata, dude. Well, and it's not good to have, I'm not a part of the club. have a dude in the car with you. You know, it's. <laughs> I'm already With wearing his head down. I'm already wearing there. this we, yeah, shirt. Yeah, we went over that. Yeah, <laughs> that's not accurate. What, <laughs> what are you talking about? That. So my wife, when when I, when, good cover, good cover. Yeah. <laughs> when, so Brendan, Transition. so Brendan hit me up, and we were so my beard. Yeah. is at home. <laughs> Brendan hit me up, and we were out somewhere, and he was like, "Let's go around three o'clock Sunday afternoon." I said, "Yeah, I'll be back in town." So I said to the wife, "I said, hey." I'm going to go borrow your dad's Miata, and Brennan and I are going to go riding. And she's like, well, why are you? Brennan well, that has a Miata. Gave, that just gave me a reverse Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, why, why, are you, why are you getting dad's Miata? Brennan has a Miata. I was like, not riding with him. She's like, well, why is he driving his? I'm like, yeah, he's going to drive his, and I'm going to chase him around, and then I'll drive, and he'll follow me around. She's like, that's stupid. Why would you do that? I'm like, look, it's just. It's more fun than both of us getting in the same car and riding around together. Yeah, you both get to drive. Yeah, exactly. Which is the point. I mean, they're actually very fun to drive. Thank you. They're good. I, one wrestlers. thing I, I've noticed about them that that does concern me a little bit is you're so low to the ground, and the roads that you want to take a little sports car out on, yeah. are the same roads that cyclists frequent. Yeah. Because they want to get out where there's not cars. Well, what they don't anticipate is that my dumb ass is doing 85 and a 35. Jamming and I the come tunes. Flying over a hill. And then there's a pack of cyclists. And it's like I come up on them so freaking fast. On our roads, get the hell off. Yeah, right? It, That's what you're thinking? <laughs> it's not, I, I just feel just booing them. Boo. I come up so fast because you don't see, you're so low to the ground that you don't see over the hill. Yeah. So as soon as you crest the hill, it's like, ah. Yeah, you got to <laughs> be just, careful on this. Man, they're always riding out there, you know, on those country roads. If, they if are. I've had, to re- I've had to, like, really scale back how I come over hills. Yeah. And around certain bands. Church, yeah. yeah. It's like because you never know what's going to be around there. Well, when we were test driving it, I mean, you were you were gunning it pretty good over some of those hills, and there's there's no oh shit handles in a Miata. It's yeah. just like you just nope because there's no clinch your ass, no f- <laughs> come out of the seat. Troy, I just saw you grab some beers. Are those uh, Delis Sans Del- Sans Ely? Yeah. So uh, even though I knew Ely wasn't going to be here, I knew we were going to do a Deli, and I. Well, that means I'm guessing you probably went pretty hoppy. All right. Well, so I, I swung by the uh, local Kroger. And I was uh, walking around the beer aisle, which our Kroger has a really good beer aisle. And I'm so forgetful. I can't ever remember what we've done. So I have to stand there and look at it for 10 minutes and be like, do we do that one? Well, we've been doing this for years yes. now. They yeah. do start to, to add So up. as I was standing there walking back and forth like an idiot, there was a Loveland distributor guy stocking beer. His name was Brian. And he was like, hey, man, can I help you with something? I was like, well, funny you should ask. I do a a podcast and we do a beer tasting and he uh he was tell- he gave me a bunch of different beers but he said this new beer from sierra nevada oh i like already which that sold it for me because yeah 
I love their cans of just their regular pale ale. Yeah. The green People cans. forget how Those good Sierra Nevada pale ale yeah. is. That was before, like, all the IPAs got exactly. so hoppy. That was back when you were like, hey, you know what's good? It's just some hops. Yeah. yeah, yeah not, Instead <laughs> of, like, we're four gallons of hops in every 16 ounce. <laughs> yeah. like, Wait, that doesn't even work. It Go does. hop, yeah. bro. <laughs> so this is uh, the new Sierra Nevada spring seasonal. He said it was seasonal. I was like, all right. Okay. It's called Hot Bullet. It's a double IPA. Um, and that's... I, I can read more about it. Let me open it up for that you That was first. quick. He was like, it's a uh, spring. It's, it's well, I'm hopping. just reading that. I'm <laughs> reading the... Uh, All right, so the Hop Bullet. Hop Bullet. It's got All a right. cool-looking label on it. I'll give you Brennan Thank you first. Thank you. All right. And then I'll, you can start drinking. I'll read the back. Here it's got a go. big old nug on there, big old Hop Nug, double IPA. This looks good. Let me give it a... How's it smell? I mean, it's definitely... Uh, I dig the label. It's extremely cool. hoppy on the nose. Back of it says Hot Bullet Double IPA features a new technique. We're hitting the beer with a double barrel slug of Magnum hops and it's like an old school l- West Lupulin kind of dust. saloon look or something. I don't know. The store, the source of hop flavor and aroma, right into the fermenter for a ballistic burst of aggressive hop character. It's a, ooh, it's eight point oh, so it's high octane. High octane. Boy. That escalated quickly. <laughs> That's your first take? <laughs> I mean, just any time I get that 8% eight, eight percent alcohol, I... It's a game changer. That is a hoppy beer. I don't know if that's going to mellow out. But it on smells that, really hoppy. That first sip is like, pow. As far as it's like a bullet, would you say? Oh, yes. I get see it. See what I did there? I get it. You with probably, the, you with probably the didn't. pow and everything? Well, he probably didn't see it. No, you, you totally know. I can't see anything because I'm in the dark wearing <laughs> sunglasses, wearing sunglasses right now. Being so fucking cool over there. I really, I mean, I really can't see much. Like, I look at the board and I try to hit the buttons and I'm like, I- I'm having a hard time seeing them. I wonder what Ely would say if he was here about this beer. I am not even know how to phrase my feelings right now. You're a <laughs> fucking hippie. I don't have it, have it, have it, have it. Wow, that is pretty hoppy. I can tell you right now, I- I'll do my, my best Ely. I don't, I don't like it. It's not very good. It's bad. I'll give it um it tastes like dog shit. I'll give it a one. That's what that's, that's Oh, Ely's here. That's definitely what Ely would give. I'll yes. give it a one. I can't I haven't decided yet. Does anyone have a uh Jason, you're not you're not drinking tonight, are you? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've had quite a few. Well, Okay. Well, we'll talk about that shortly then. Oh, oh yeah, good point. <laughs> Better slow down. Yeah, but go um, ahead. I don't think it's too bad. I really don't. I think it finishes uh, for a double IPA. It finishes kind of clean, and I've actually had hoppier beers, so it's not that bad. I mean, I wouldn't rec- I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it still is a hoppy IPA. But I've had hoppier. I'd give this a two and a half too. I what I can't put my finger on is where the spring seasonal part, yeah. What what separates it from anything? Because a spring seasonal Botanicals. to me should be like lemony, and they yeah. didn't even use like a citrusy hop. I was yeah. thinking like lavender or some shit, you know, like yeah, some flower. This is this is interesting, Jason. I'll let you uh, pass judgment before I do because I'm still confused. I think it's delicious, actually. Um, it is. Extra hoppy, so it's uh, definitely hits you up front. But it finishes really smooth. I feel it doesn't linger yeah. overly long. Um, but I like IPAs, so. But high octane, this would be a hard one to just sit down. You know, not a sessionable IPA. It was a good price, opinion. actually. It was only nine 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 for a six pack, which it's about, is about right for a. Craft beer. This yeah, is like I mean, down two before you go out type of beer, probably. Or down one or two right in the middle of a podcast where <laughs> yeah. you've already been drinking. And, and see where it goes. See, see, see what happens. See if the shirt happens. See if the shirt turns blue or if your eye stops swelling. Yeah. Thumping. Hey, there we go. But there's no. Yeah, you're right. There's no like. Uh, you don't taste like any citra hops or any anything added to it. It's pretty straightforward, just hoppy IPA in my opinion. So what would you give it? Um, I give it three. Three out of five. Uh, definitely good. I probably would buy it again, um, but probably uh, just for the right occasion. I wouldn't. I wouldn't just buy twelve or twenty four and throw. It's not it in your cooler. new favorite beer, right? 
So as I'm drinking it, and that's why I did want to wait because I wanted to see if it changed a little bit. And it, it has changed. It does change. It's changed a little bit on the profile. Because when you go from Coors Light to <laughs> double IPA, there's yeah. always a certain amount. There's always a learning curve. Yeah. The first the first sip was overwhelming. I, was, I wasn't quite certain of this. Now that I'm getting in there, I, I think I may know why, why they're calling it spring. Because on the first sip, there's... Do a, tell, because I'm still not there. So... Try it again and just focus on the initial flavor because I feel like there's a sweetness that that is that that pops right at the beginning. There's a sweetness, and I don't know what that's from, and maybe that sweetness is why they're calling it the spring. And what's funny about it is is usually if you do a double IPA, you taste all that hop right out front, and then it carries on. Something about this, now that I've adjusted to it, it hits you with the sweetness before it hits you with the hop. Then the hop. But it's in. faint. I mean, I kind of yes. see what you're saying, but and usually, like you guys were both saying, there's usually a flavor involved with that. Like, And they would note it like, oh, it's citrus, it's lavender, it's honey. But it's, it's not. It's, it's just sweet. Yeah. It's just a really good high-octane IPA. Well, and that's, that's the thing. So it's sweet on the front end, and then that hop profile hits you. It's bitter as fuck. Yeah, that that bitterness is gonna is holding on, and that's why I know Ely would give it a one because that bitterness is still there in my mouth, and I haven't had a sip in like fifteen seconds. And yeah, it's still there. So it's a true double IPA. You're getting a lot of that kick in the mouth. I I do think it's actually good. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm gonna go three. I think I'm right in line with you. It's not a game changer. It's not something that I would seek out. There's better IPAs out there. Yeah, but it's it's drinkable. It's drinkable. If you if you love IPAs, it's certainly worth going out and trying because it does have that sweetness on the front end. But and it's, Sierra does a, such a great job too with their yeah. with their IPAs and their pale ales. I mean, but there's nothing here that's making me go. This stands above the others. No, no. It's just a good IPA. Brian also pointed strong. out it's that strong. there's a uh, there's a new PBR. What? Yeah. So. What do you I mean? Didn't, Don't there's a new PBR. Name, I haven't. It wasn't. It wasn't out yet. I love PBR, but I will definitely be trying it. Well, so actually, next week, I think the game plan is to do the full flavor American Lager challenge. I want to set up, and we talked to uh, Lee, who, who yeah. met us met us out at brunch weekend, and he's going to uh, come out. He said he'd be willing to officiate. Nice. That's is one this of a the- blind taste testing. Yes. So that's one of the beauties. I'm kind of scared of this. Of a listener coming out and, and checking out, you know, the show. Cause, yeah. Because, you know, we need help. <laughs> so we're like, hey, you're here. You help, right? Well, you it's like, <laughs> I wanna, serve us. like, I want to participate. So we need somebody who can. Yeah. So set what, it I, up. what I'd like to do is get like Budweiser, Coors Full Flavor, PBR, um, High Life. I guess, I guess a High Life. I want to put a hams in there. Hams. Ugh. Just so it can look, there's got to be a turd in the punch bowl, right? And then, and then I want to rank them. I want to see where I really stand on yeah. all of these. Beers. Are we ranking them? Or are we trying to guess if we know our palates? No, the I think you, I, I, I'd rank like to them. say my favorite, least favorite, down the line, and then see where you fall. Yeah. So basically, the be, order you would put them in. Yeah. Best to. It's going to be different for me. I don't drink a lot of full flavors. I drink. I don't either. And that's beer. why I think it's going to be interesting because, like, Coors Light, I can pick out in a lineup. I honestly, I did a, a taste test not long ago with light beers. What is the Miller full flavor? Miller. This MGD. MGD? Right? No, or MGD's its own thing. High Life? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, There's not Miller. Is there yeah, just Miller? I guess maybe MGD is what they Miller scaled down. Miller Genuine Draft. Yeah. You should get, we should get Michelob's. Michelob, if you can find it. No shit. Why is that so hard to find? Michelob's delicious. Michelob Light's good. Well, we'll give it a try. And so he's going to come out and he's going to help us out uh, next week and walk us through. Would Dos Equis fall in that? I said American. Oh, American. USA. <laughs> USA. <laughs> this is what we do, even though. Shit's probably brewed in none California of this, or yeah. Texas. Well, and, you know, what is it? Uh, all the money goes to Belgium for Budweiser. Right. That's right. It's neither here nor there. USA. USA. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's what I loved when they came out with those American, American flag. flag yeah, they yeah. were like they were like they got bought out by Belgium. They were like, "No, nah, it's still cool though." Yeah, Look. and you're like, "Good enough for me." There's Hell a flag yeah. on it. 
They a, get it. <laughs> that's right. They totally get it. So, Jason, are you uh, you nursing that pair? I'm 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 nursing it today because uh, the last time I was I was thinking about that when I walked in today. The last time I was actually here. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Don't, <laughs> don't bury the lead. <laughs> I woke up in uh, literally inside the Palin sleepover. House. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, night. We were all out here. It was the first night of the uh, NCAA tournament, and we were having. We had that all was the, a couple weeks ago. I had yeah. some drinks, and we uh, had all the TVs fired up out here. That's always, you know, that's one of the reasons that I, I settled on four TVs was um, finances. I ran out of money. Yeah, and then, um, <laughs> but then also when you're thinking, how many TVs do you need? You're like, well, how many sporting events require a lot of TVs? You obviously have football Sunday, but you're not going to get a dozen TVs so that from one to four you're happy, and then the rest of the year you're like. Ugh. Got two TVs or there's three never, TVs on. There's tops. never that many good games yeah. to watch anyway. There's not. So I was like, well, you know what? The March Madness does matter. There's four games going at any given time. Yeah. Like to have the four TV so I could do it. So I always, I always get amped up about March Madness in general, just because I know I get to. Well, that's the only time I really watch college basketball, like in intently. I mean, it's the best time. But that's when everybody's. Gambling on it, I guess. Yeah. That, well, there's that's that. the reality of it. Yeah, we had a pool going. I didn't get in, but you guys got in. Yeah. Actually, I think this Nickel Nuts won it. I, I did win it. He shouldn't have. Made well, up congrats. Court. Well, he obviously made his picks prior to this particular <laughs> well, <I'm> saying, <laughs> Yeah, On principle, he shouldn't have won <laughs> after that <laughs> yeah. But So he came out He came out here on Thursday. There were, there were a lot of people over here hanging out, just, just drinking beers. Yeah, y'all hit me up, and I swung by early in the evening, and, and I just I was tired. I had a long day, and I was like, I'm just going to. Yeah, you made an appearance. I stopped by, and I just, there was a vibe. There was a vibe going on here that night. It's a dangerous vibe. And I could tell there were people here that I hadn't seen in a month or so. Like, it were, it was, and everybody was feeling good and, you know, brought it in for the real thing for everybody. And I was like, People are feeling good in here right now. I need to. I need to get out of here while I can still walk. Yeah, we were we were handing out pink eye hugs, <laughs> <laughs> getting real close. You know, like that's when you know you've there been were guys here that I hadn't seen in months. Like just you know, a lot of guys that don't come a lot were here for that. Like I was like, yeah. oh, it's gonna get real. Yeah, in we here. had the wings going, and yeah, you had the grill fire. Oh, that's up. right, we were grilling out and everything. Yeah, that's when you Jason know. had a. Couple fingers of bourbon in a glass. I mean, he was. Well, and that was that right there. You have hit. You have hit on a on a, on a point. He showed up with a bottle of whiskey mm. and put it down on the bar. And I don't remember seeing a single soda. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, he just put the whiskey down, and then like was like, "Oh yeah, let's grill out." Yeah. And the whole time he's just clutching a glass of whiskey, straight. Mm, well, like well before that, I brought. I think I brought leftover wine. I just down. I chugged that. Oh, that's right. You came in here, drank oh. a bottle of wine, then started drinking. Whiskey. And oh, then I was like, man. I got this bottle of whiskey, and it's it's one of those dangerous things. You know, you guys have talked about it. You know, you're trying to like get in shape and do all this stuff. You're like, I'm going to low carb it, so I'm just going to yep. drink straight liquor. Yeah. And that is the biggest problem: is that when you're eating, like doing the low carb thing, people don't tell you that. Like Atkins died of alcohol poisoning. No yeah. one knows that. <laughs> If he didn't, he probably should have. Because that's how he died. You yeah, know that? Because that was the same thing happened to Google to, it. That's the same thing happened to Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. <laughs> Heming- with, with Atkins and uh, yeah, strict. Hemingway, Poe. They all started cutting weight. And fucking, we've lost some great, <laughs> great authors that way. It just kept boozing the same amount. Yeah. You're not. <laughs> you're not eating a lot, and then you're not. You're just. Tripling your alcohol. Well, yeah, intake. you're like, I won't yeah. drink beer. I'll drink bourbon. But then, because then- like, yeah, <laughs> keeping the carbs low. Yeah, man. keep the carbs low. But at the same time, you're still cooking the same like hot ass sriracha wings. You know that you you need to drink something after you. you know, like, eat what a I few eat of. today? Two hard boiled eggs and a ton of chicken. A wings. liter of yeah. whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, how much is it a handle? About a handle of whiskey. <laughs> This is seven carbs, bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Fucking shredded. So, so I literally I've just... had negative calories today, so it's pretty good. <laughs> that's right. I'm totally crushing this diet. <laughs> that's that's how I felt. And then uh, the last thing I remember, uh, I was actually sitting on the couch watching the games, and then my my friend called me, um, and we, and, which was a great time to talk, you know, obviously. <laughs> 
And uh, apparently, at this point, I just blacked out. Apparently, I was telling him, like, I couldn't decide where I wanted to vomit. I was trying to be respectful to Kennedy. I was like, you know, I don't know, man. I was like, vomit. I think I'm going to vomit on this couch. But um, <laughs> See, what I like I about this I think I could go is, outside. and uh, Maybe I'll go outside and vomit. You know? This is uh, where he thinks he blacked out. It hurt, it two happened. hours after that? Yeah, because the low carb, that you cannot do low carb mm-hmm. and drink heavy. Yeah, liquids. I really have no idea. But that's the last, I, actually, I don't remember that conversation. He, he was told but, that But he, yeah. he thought it was great enough where he'd put me on speakerphone um, with his wife in the room, and she's like, who the fuck is that? And you know why you do that? <laughs> it's to make your wife aware that there's other people that Did are you call some much more screwed up. That are worse than, yeah. than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, look, honey, I'm here hanging out with you. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm going to go upstairs and change the diaper. I'm going to leave this phone right here. I want you to listen to this yeah. asshole. <laughs> listen to Jason drink drink his sorrows. Remember, <laughs> remember, remember the guy you said was a good guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a scumbag. He's a drunk piece of shit right now. <laughs> listen to this. But 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 in all honesty, he's pretty shredded. <laughs> <laughs> so with all the carb cutting and yeah. such. But so that was your mistake, man. You came in Don't here. look at him for 31 seconds. You were, you were completely... <laughs> You were, you were emaciated. You were like, I'm I'm not doing the carb thing, and and I've done this too, so I'm not throwing stones. But I the first time we've I, all done it. The first time I cut a bunch of weight, I got down to like 185 pounds, not eating carbs, and then I drank like three quarters of a bottle of gin at my buddy's house one night. Oh not, you mean Malort? Not knowing, yes, code. <laughs> not knowing that this was going to affect me like this. And it wasn't until the next day, like I knew I was hammered. And I was like, I got to go to bed. I woke up the next day. And then I started vomiting everywhere. I was shaking. I missed a wedding. And Whoa. it was one of my wife's friend's weddings. And That went over well with the wife, I bet. Oh, my God. We made it up to Northern Virginia because we were going to Maryland. <laughs> uh. We made it up to Northern Virginia. I had to pull us over three separate times and throw up out the side of the car. Got up to Northern Virginia, laid on my parents' deck. They you said, just town. leave me here to die? I was Eventually, <laughs> I turned to her. I was like, I'm not going to this wedding. Like I can't, I can't do this. Like I have never felt like this. And so when she you're had to, so effed up not i mean we've all been there where we feel like crap in the morning but when it's the evening of the next day and you're not right yes that's a bad day and that's a I, I was bad there. day and i didn't realize that my wife never explained why we didn't go to the wedding did she not go yeah she was like well i'm not leaving you you know you look like death like you're you're sweating still you're vomiting i was like well i'm not doing well <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh she's a doctor <laughs> it was it was years later i'm talking with her friend and we're like drunk late at night and hanging out and i'm like i still feel so bad about your wedding and she's like yeah you know i mean look those things happen and i think she must know the story oh no your <laughs> wife made up a lie my wife told some fucking fabrication <laughs> <laughs> it's a fabrication of the truth <laughs> yeah not even close like, that oh, couple's oh. like Hey, I'm just happy you're alive after you rolled your car 16 times. Yeah, I start, I, start to, I was like, I've never, I've never been that hungover. I was thrown over. But she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying right now? And I was like, well, you know, I mean, I, I got sick. I was doing this low carb thing, and I like tell the story. <laughs> and she's like, oh no. She's like, that's why you guys missed my wedding. And she like turned around and stormed off. And are I'm you like, serious? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> uh, what just happened? And the next thing I know, my wife's coming over and she's like, "You son of a bitch! You didn't." I'm like, "If you don't tell me the line, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't tow the line." Right, right, right. You know, I was like, <laughs> come on, man. And so being like, hungover is not an excuse for anything. No one not. ever cares. And that's no why one I was like, ever just cares. Go. And even though like, we've all been there, you no one feels any remorse for you. Yeah, like we've all been there, but they're like, "You son of a bitch!" It's like, hey, you you done know this too. better. Shame on yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, Especially yeah, with weddings, because yeah. people were like, like "You shouldn't have I was consumed, low carb. You shouldn't have consumed alcohol for an entire month before my wedding, because my wedding is the most important day of the." Well, I was right. low carb yeah. it for your wedding. <laughs> Trying to look good in my, my suit. <laughs> my friend said I called him, and I was college white girl drunk, <laughs> <laughs> basic as fuck, <laughs> just throwing up pumpkin spice latte, <laughs> just all over the place. Well, funny, so funny your, you mention it. I actually rocking your UGG boots. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> totally. In your vest. But so this dude, he's sitting over here, and I just see him sitting at He the, doesn't care. I see... No, this... So back to Jason. Oh, I thought you were... We're t- watching... Tell him the rest of your story. Oh, it just... It ended poorly. What, did, what was the... Did you ever hear what the lie was? I don't recall what the <laughs> lie was, honestly. But I did recover, like... Ended up hanging out. But then after that, it's like I spent the whole night at this other wedding with them. Oh, like, like to make up for it, You know, yeah. like, hey, does anyone need a Stella? Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, a bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it was. I felt I felt pretty shitty. But Jason was over here, and he drinks this this. It w- it went down so smooth though. And he's showing it off to everybody. He's like, "Try this." And <laughs> granted, that was some of the best whiskey I'd ever tasted. Like that was really that was really good bat. stuff. Was, I think he offered bat. me some as soon as I got here. <laughs> well, yeah, Probably. Yeah. He was, I've he been was, drinking it for a while. You were he in a was, grand mood when I got here. Yeah, he was revving high. Like, yeah. He was having a blast. And then... I was like, no, I have my son, man. I'm we're, I'm just stopping by for a minute, and I'm heading Your out. Your son wants to? Yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's all these he cans. Drive. There's all these cans on the bar, like where the podcast setup typically is. And there's, there's cans all over the bar because everybody's throwing down, having a great time. And Jason's just sitting here in this chair. And he's not... <laughs> He's he's not like doing anything. Yeah. He's just kind of there, and all of a sudden, Holding down that chair. All of a sudden, he starts coughing like this, like horrible Uh-oh. coughing fit, and then it turns into sneezing. Oh wow! And I'm like, and this is like mid flu season, you know. <laughs> and, and then I'm you like, got pinka, and then, yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like he's sweating, and I'm looking over at him, and now there's sweat, and he's sneezing, <laughs> and he's coughing, and I'm like, I'm think honestly, I didn't think he was like drunk yet. I'm like. This dude got the fucking flu. Yeah. Then he goes like like face down, like like falls towards the bar, and his arms flail out. He knocks all the beer cans Are off you the bar. Serious? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, do not, I do not remember this at all. Oh my knocks god! Everything off the bar. So you remember when he dumped intentionally dumped the uh, candle on your phone? What? Yeah, I totally did. Oh, that. on my yeah. phone. Because that was yeah. the second time. But so we've all seen him do yeah, this, yeah. like. So I'm thinking <laughs> he's been awkward before. In so I'm not thinking because the time he dumped much. the candle on my phone was the second time he's knocked a hot candle over and spilled wax everywhere. Because mm-hmm. the other time he got it on our other buddy. Yes. <laughs> so I didn't think too much of it. I was like, "Oh, klutzy Jason, <laughs> old Jason, <laughs> knocking shit again. off the bar again." That's what he does. But this time, when he went down and his arms flailed out and he knocked everything off the bar, he didn't come back up. His head just went down <laughs> on the bar and it stayed there. And now I'm like. He's dead. Huh. They're like, this motherfucker just died. And then he gets up. R.I.P. And he's like, he's looking around. And now I'm like, oh, he's like dying. Like, he looks he looks awful. I'm sure I Just white as a sheet, probably. But then I'm like, but he has the wherewithal. He's going over here to pick up the cans. Like, he gets up. And he walks around the bar, grabs his glass of whiskey, pours it back in the bottle while standing over mm. all the cans. And I think he's over here to clean up his mess. <laughs> Stupid me. He was saving his whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> he pours his whiskey Save that for back later. in the bottle and then comes staggering back around here and passes out on the same couch that Summer of Tom Tom passed out on at the end of the second episode, which was the That's last the big time couch. he That's ever the came couch. back. So Jason passes out over here, but doesn't move any of the shit. The couch is covered in shit. <laughs> he just lays on it. <laughs> and he just lays on top of podcast equipment and random stuff. And he's just Backpacks sprawled and... out uncomfortably. And I'm like, what the? F-? <laughs> and so we're, we're like, well, there's only one thing we can do. Um, we're going to watch the rest of these games and party. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just sat I out love here. this. It was before the games were even off. The games, dude, there were games that hadn't even started. Arizona oh, had so, not tipped sorry. off yet, which was a disaster. Yeah. But that was like the 10 something game. Are you serious? You're assed out over here. And we yeah, watched you the st- games. Y'all were out here at 6, 5 30. I started early. Maybe yeah. even earlier. Yeah. I mean, no, it was definitely, it was after work. I know that. Yeah. But, but it was, but my wife had it was told daylight. me, my wife had told me, Look, I don't care if people come over, but tomorrow is her birthday. And she's like, you have a half day. I have a half day. I need you to be with it. You know, you're, we're driving yeah. up. We're going to do this stuff. And I'm like, baby. Because you're the whole birthday weekend yeah, that like, we talked I'm about. Like, I'm like, baby, I'm not getting drunk. Don't worry. Like, I got you. I got we're, you. We're, we're staying fine. So then we party all night. The next morning. I'm not reverse Medusa on your birthday. I'm not going to reverse that. Medusa no. you, babe. Come on. I got this. I'm Medusa. Yeah. yeah. Straight stone over here. <laughs> and so we just. we. You hear that? That's me. So we partied it up the rest of the night. And then I'm like, all right, well, he's got to be getting better at this point. So I come over. I'm like, Jason, zero. Like no signs of life. He's breathing. But he's like. He's out. Yeah. And he's still laying mangled across all the stuff <laughs> on the couch. Like a fish in a net just caught so, up in it. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, I mean, he can't drive home. Yeah. But it's also one in the damn morning. Like, I need to go to bed. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I, I don't know what to do. So I just put a heater on by him. <laughs> and yeah. Like, I turned on some tunes 
and left. And I woke up the next morning, and my wife's like, there are three cars out there. I <laughs> thought you guys weren't drinking last night. It looked like the party was still going on. There are just cars all out front of the house. I'm like, son of a bitch. These guys have blown my cover. Like I'm playing it all yeah. cool. And these guys. And then I'm like, oh, so, yeah. Uh, so some other guys, they Ubered or lifted home. Yeah, they all took Okay. They actually lifted that night because Uber was trying to surcharge. That's right. At the end of the games, and Lyft was not. Uh Yeah, you won again, Troy. I managed to lift my ass off the couch. (laughs) (laughs) So what what was the rest of your night like? Honestly, the last... So I wake up, and it's dark, and I'm inside the pallet house. Uh, TPH, baby. I'm cold. Even though the heaters were on, it was still a little chilly, and I was just looking around. Well, you didn't have a blanket. I'm like, what? I didn't get you. <laughs> That's okay. I wanted to keep your heart rate up. Yeah. <laughs> that was out of respect, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're welcome. So <laughs> so I get up and uh, I, ma- I, ma- I manage to stumble um, to my car. What time is this? This Five, is probably- Four? Yeah, yeah, probably almost six in the morning, probably. You were here when I got up. Yeah. So, oh, and so I don't maybe get it was later than that. Okay, yeah, so, I was maybe it was la- say, hey. so I, the first time I woke up and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm in the pallet house. I'm just gonna go to back to sleep." So, I, like once <laughs> it's I really like to do anything so, about it now, right? So then, then when I got up in the morning and left, I managed to get in my car and then, as I made my way back down Home. down the road to my house, I started getting closer and closer to my house, and I started getting that that Queasy. queasiness, Ugh. man. And I'm just like, that oh. is the worst. And I know, I know, I was like, okay, I gotta make it soon. You know, yeah, you, you, know yeah. you just got gotta make it soon. Gotta make it. You know, and you're like thinking, like, where can I pull over? Can I pull over up here? Can I, like, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna figure this out? I managed to pull in my driveway and then, like, throw the car door open and just, <laughs> you know, like, all, all, all right in front of my garage. And it was just this hot red sriracha color from all the wings. Oh. Oh. Your kid comes running out. I Daddy! Sw- <laughs> Daddy, so good to see you. Oh, my God. He's dying, Mom. He's, he's so much blood. blood. So much blood. <laughs> well, the thing that's so hilarious is literally that spot in my driveway is stained red, and every time my dog walks outside, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like lick, it. it's like licking oh. the rocks. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's a rough night, dude. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I managed to crash for a couple hours, got up, you know, vomited probably three or four more times. And then you can see the progression in my Marco Polos with... Yeah, um, so we've never discussed our obsession with Marco Polo. Uh, we, you've probably heard us We're schoolgirls. There's this stupid app. And this son of a bitch just puked. He's about to puke again. No, he just did. He just puked. Hey, clean that up before my dog gets it. What just happened? Are you all right? Oh, my God. What I just, just snorted beer through my nose like <laughs> like a condom, a hoppy oh. beer. <laughs> he literally he just puked on my floor. I missed just, that. It was just like one I of those, just saw him it, coughing. Oh, <laughs> it's more like a blurp. You know yeah. what I mean? You ever do that like that like burp puke? But now he's it's a race against to get it up before the dog. <laughs> oh my god, that was ridiculous. This guy can't win. <laughs> But um, <laughs> the irony, just telling a puking story. Yeah, got him. Got him all riled up. <laughs> Uh, you are? <laughs> I don't know why I do, but every time I see a pallet up there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. He's allergic to I don't to know what's place. wrong with me. <laughs> but so I'm gonna sneeze for a while. We haven't we haven't discussed it uh in, in depth, but we're like we all use this stupid app called Marco Polo and it's just it's just video chatting, but you can like video chat with groups or you can like video chat with somebody. And and you just it's it's almost instantaneous. Like until you open it up, you don't get to see what they're doing. Yeah. But if both of you have it open, it's you can bang, have bang. A, yeah, you can have a dialogue back and forth of and, and video chat. Yeah, because you can see like, like as I'm recording one, I'll see you guys watching it. Yeah. You'll like know that, that yeah. you're watching and then people chime in. And it's great for group like conversations. Yeah. And things like that. In fact, we've been like really it's how we like pregame for the show yeah. it's like ideas are popping off on marco polo and we're it's talking a lot about easier it. than texting a long ass you know text out absolutely plus you yeah. get to see what's happening yeah and so i've i've actually gotten to the point now where there's a handful of people that i don't see very often and we'll sit up in the middle of the night and have a beer together like oh really on marco polo that's cool and it's like i'm like oh my god i've gone full millennial <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not leaving my house, but I feel like I'm hanging out with my boys drinking beers. And that's a. The running joke with our group is 
to Marco Polo from the toilet without a shirt on, no matter where you are. It is very <laughs> odd. It is very you can odd. be in a Lowe's bathroom and somebody will Marco Polo you without the shirt. At a, I was at a New Year's Eve party and a Marco Polo went across and it's Ely shirtless in the dude's house that <laughs> yeah. I'm in. And I'm like, oh my God, that dude's taking a shit and videotaping it with his shirt off. But so Jason Marco Poloed me, like the vomit. Oh, <laughs> Not this one. Not that just happened live. No, unfortunately okay. not. <laughs> yeah, but this is the- only a two when you snort it. By the way, the beer. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So, but he he ended up. Uh, I get this like Marco Polo, and like he, first he hits me up in his car, and he's like, "Hey man, thanks for a good time last night. I'm, <laughs> I'm headed home." And like I'm looking at him, and I'm like, "Oh my god, his hair is like." So disheveled. And I'm yeah. like, well, that explains it because he slept on microphones. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm sure he's, his hair is going to look a well, little He's rough. got glorious hair anyway. Then the next time I see him, he's like, oh, dude. And now you can see like there's sweat and his <laughs> hair is like far worse. <laughs> and he's out of his car. And five minutes ago, he was driving a yeah. vehicle. He was piloting a motor coach down the highway. And now all of a sudden he's like, oh, dude, there's sweat everywhere. His hair's. And he looks down, there's this red oh. giant pile. And he's like, I just got really, really sick, dude. And I was like, <laughs> like why are you Marco Polo and me this shit, man? I was like, this is crazy. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> but so that's why I, I love technology. Like, this is what they invented it for, so I can Marco Polo you my vomit. <laughs> but I, I, I literally haven't seen you since that day. <laughs> and now, and you're, now you're here and you're, you're drinking beers and I'm just, you know, I want to say take it slow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then before I could even get him to slow down, he pukes on my floor. <laughs> How happy was the wife? She was like really happy yeah, with you. Elated. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. She's perfect like, word. Where do you want your blowy? I was like, yeah. <laughs> where and when? Oh my god! Oh. Let me kneel down on the red. Spot I have a. Fe- <laughs> I have a feeling this couch in the pallet house wasn't the. Last couch he slept on that weekend. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. I'll just make up my spot down here. But I did the same thing that his buddy did because when my wife started busting my balls about why are there three cars out here and everyone was so drunk, I was like, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? So pff, Jason <laughs> <laughs> drank a whole bottle of whiskey like a crazy guy. And I had to stay up late because, I mean, Someone's got to watch him and make sure he's breathing. So I had, to, I had to stay up till the end of the last game. The rest of us were out here planning our next visit to the orphanage, and Jason's over here just throwing back just throwing whiskey. Back. Jason, up we got to get to the soup kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm drinking. Okay, guys, we're going to have to stay. The, the puppies will have to wait. <laughs> That's right. And Old so, Jason. But I did pull the exact same thing. I was like, <laughs> it's like oh, well, uh, Jason was so drunk. It's like, tell the Jason story. And then all of a sudden, she's laughing at your demise. And I'm like, jackpot. Let's go I'm celebrate. Back in. You totally skirted. Any, any- <laughs> yep, let's go celebrate the birthday weekend without Jason. Okay, she glad, can't be mad. Be fall guy. She yeah. shouldn't be mad at cars being out front. That just means people are uh, growing up. It's a pretty good sign, though, that uh, we didn't hold up our end of the not partying too hard. You party. might have, though. And that was my point. Yeah. And I did. And you did. made it. <laughs> but I did, but I really was just like sipping beers the whole night. Everyone else seemed yeah. to just be like losing their mind. I'm like, you know, it's a Thursday, right? I have a half day, <laughs> but the half I have to go to is the first half. Dude, that, <laughs> yeah. that first Thursday of the tournament, I mean, that's a big deal for people. That's a really big deal. People go nuts. Man. Oh, yeah. This is another weekend coming up sporting wise that i never used to care about that oh, people get this is the best week people get so jazzed up about this i didn't know this was this was a thing until oh, a yeah. few years ago but masters get, week yeah it's it it's masters and for those that don't know it's like the quintessential american golf tournament yeah and it's people absolutely go nuts nowadays i know guys who send out emails they do like masters uh pools like yeah. where you can you win money and like it's like a whole fantasy sport thing pops up around Masters for the golfers. It's pretty insane. And if you're you, a big Masters guy, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I love watching the Masters. To me, it's kind of like St. Patrick's Day. Like I'm, I'm into the sport, but I'm really into the fact that it's the start. To me, it's the start of the spring season. We're coming out of the shit winter. Interesting. And, you, and if you watch the Masters on TV, 
I don't. You don't even have to like golf. Watch the Masters. Just it looks because it's gorgeous. It or? looks like a postcard. I mean, it and is it's, amazing. Is it Augusta, Augusta Georgia? National in in Georgia. It's an amazing facility, and they do a great job. They, there's not a lot of commercials. They have strict rules there. If you've never been, I, I, it's it's one of my bucket list things to do. You have, it's really hard to get uh to get tickets to. People talk about it. Like oh yeah, it's the hardest ticket to get. Like yeah. oh, I went to the final four. But that's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm going to the Augusta. Yeah, you get to uh-huh. wait and 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 the price and it's weird. They like still sell food there, like palmetto cheese sandwiches. But but unlike. The ballpark that gouges you, it's like three dollars. Like what's a it's palmetto? Old school. Is it like it's pimento a, or palmetto? Yeah, that's what p- pimento cheese. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck is a palmetto? I've never been, so I've only heard like I've only yeah, read that articles makes sense, and stuff. Pimento like, cheese, like a southern thing. Yeah, and this, you know, they just they keep things old school. Like they don't allow cell phones. Like there's strict rules when you're there. You have to follow a code. Or women. Fact. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think they can go. <laughs> <laughs> but they have to wear a veil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they can work there. Actually, so it's funny you say that because that's one of the things that I read this week that I found really interesting was that, you know, lately in the golf world, there's been a lot of... Now, are you are you puking? What no. was that? Oh, my God. All of a sudden, he just grabs his face. I'm like, all right, officially, I'm lowering my vote on the bullet down to a one. It's making everybody... <laughs> have a beard. You should understand. Sometimes you get beer in your beard. I get it. I get I'm it. I'm just wiping the beer off. Beard in the beer. So... I was I I didn't realize how strict they they really were oh, yeah. at, the, at the Masters and I've I've heard like the cell phone thing and all that but I read an article today that they were they were freaking out about people yelling dilly dilly <laughs> because because it's annoying what is that it's you know the Bud Light thing where like they're like dilly dilly all yeah. the yeah, 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 yeah. well okay. it's become the chant of every drunk over forty you I know? bet they like, don't like they mashed all, potatoes either. You ever hear that one when you're watching golf lives? As no. soon as they hit it, somebody yells, "Mash potatoes!" That like it's just one of those things. Get in that, the hole! As soon yeah, as someone tees off, yeah, exactly. They're 552 yards away. That's not in the hole. Get in the <laughs> hole! But so apparently, this is becoming more and more of a problem in golf. Like like Rory McIlroy was pissing and moaning. That I he saw had that. To, yeah, people talking about his wife or something. Yeah, yeah, they're yelling, "Erica, Erica, Erica!" Yeah. And he's like. Shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. I can't focus. And apparently he had to play with Tiger a couple tournaments back when Tiger's now on this upswing and yeah. everyone's, everyone's over the moon. So Tiger's killing it while well, everyone's getting excited. And he's like, I forgot how difficult it was to play when someone like Tiger has the crowds following yeah. him. Because they're like, they're screaming the entire time. And he's like, it's so distracting. Well, I guess the golfers are really starting to bitch more about it yeah, he made reference to the alcohol sales he which is funny because he's a drunk yeah it was like hilarious he's yeah a northern irish. irish yeah yeah he's a northern ireland drunk and he's like there's too much alcohol <laughs> you ever been to a pro event uh just like the nationwide series yeah just like a step down yeah but it's still they but get it's rowdy. Above, above hooters they get yeah they get rowdy there too but i've been i've been to a pro event too and it's i mean it's a would it's, you bring your kids yeah, yeah, yeah. In that, I mean, I know we've talked about t- that with like yeah. NFL games. And yeah, stuff. it's it's, but it's, there's a lot of drinking, and, and I didn't realize how much there was. I guess it's hardcore. Oh yeah, which makes and, sense. And it's so silent. So I mean, you can easily there's no ambient noise on a golf course. You know, like it's easy to yell and and say offensive things and and be offensive. And he was referencing like golf's not that game. Like it's a, it's a game of etiquette, and you should follow that etiquette. They're gonna have a hard time keeping the modern culture of sports and fanaticism and drinking out of that world. Well, there's people have their fans. Well, now. and certain golf courses are catering to it, like the uh, Phoenix Open. Which yeah, is they have like the grand. The, they have like the one drinking hole. Right, the sixteenth hole is basically they they are er- bourbon. They erect yeah. <laughs> They erect a stadium, basically. They, they put, they put seating <laughs> They put seating around a par three course. So it's basically like going to a football stadium, stadium, watching someone walk through the tunnel, tee off from one end zone, and try to land it on the other. And, except at this tournament, they 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 say you can get rowdy. They say you can you they know, intentionally yeah, set up a party spot. Yeah, and other courses are doing kind of the same thing, but it's kind of just 
slowly, you know, spreading across the whole sport in general, and it's kind of not. So, which is going to change? Is golf going to change, or are they going to have to tighten, crack down? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I can't think golf is going to change with so much. I yeah, mean, they're just going to have a, a happy medium somewhere. They're going to have to. They'll draw. So maybe they'll still like, draw a line. Yeah. yeah, you have like loud holes. And then, like, the rest are <laughs> Well, everyone wants a gimmick. The That's the thing. You want a gimmick. Because the Phoenix Open is Super Bowl weekend every year. So it's like they're competing oh, against the, So they purposely yeah. have to be like, no, nah, we're bringing out the big dunk. Exactly, big yeah. Two dollar tall boys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's funny because some of the players for the, like, they'll come out. It's always in Arizona. It's in Phoenix. And they'll come out and they'll be one of them will players have taken off their shirts and put on like Arizona State jerseys and like the crowd goes crazy. Uh, so they're getting into oh, it yeah. too. And they, you know, they run around, they throw swag up into the stadium, you know, like they're they're getting into it. So we're just we almost have t-shirt cannons coming. Well, and there's another there was another course. <laughs> there was another course, I forget which one it was, but they used to do caddy races on, on one hole where like the the players would carry their own bag and the caddies had to run. All right, they're from, embracing it. Yeah. I like where this is going. But they got rid of it. They, Damn it! They got rid of it because <laughs> they stated, you There's know, the, line. the liability for someone getting injured. You know, blah blah blah. So they're still the old fuddy duddies, yeah. who are controlling the rules. Exactly. You know. Okay, but it sounds like I don't know. When I heard, read this dilly dilly thing, I was blown away because they said this is a no tolerance policy. Well, it's weird to say that one saying, especially that's not it's not offensive. So, like, why would that one saying be different than I think saying? Yeah, I agree with you, but you know. Rochambeau or something stupid like I guess this is starting to be yelled more and everyone's more, saying it yeah, yeah. every asshole is saying it I've noticed when I'm in airports like every like bachelor party crew if it's like older bachelor party fuck actually every age yeah all the bachelor party guys are like getting all jazzed up and you'll hear them Somebody yelling through it. the terminal do it do it they're like do it do it and I'm like so, oh my god so that's god. like the new type thing again all Budweiser though right yeah like they I was just, at a kid's birthday party at but, Sky Zone the other week and some dude was rocking a dilly dilly hoodie it's like, crazy it's but so thing. apparently if you yell dilly dilly no tolerance you're out they will come and get you and they will remove you immediately for one dilly dilly you could probably yell any you think number. That's of- more because of the sponsorship by Budweiser. Are they sponsored by some Ooh, other beer? That's a good. That's a that's really a good, good call. I hadn't thought about that. If yeah, they have like, another sponsor, yeah. they don't want any of that shit in the broadcast because this is the most highly watched broadcast. That's a good call, man. I don't know. Yeah. But they will. They said I'm sure that zero plays time. in it on some level. Like there was a memo that went out to all the security people, and they're like, "We want this strictly enforced." Yeah. You yell dilly dilly. You pull that person out. They are beat gone. the shit out of. Hold on, what? <laughs> you get it behind they, the scenes they get the fire yeah hose. exactly that's i mean good i guess i don't know i don't know what to make of it yeah i don't know what to make of it it is crazy to see tiger like you see tiger in person and you see his crowd it's pretty intense but wouldn't you follow him i'd be all jazzed up yeah though i've only been to one it was up in dc and I had VIP tickets, so in the tent, Ooh. and I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna trap. I'm not following anyone. I'll stay here and watch everybody come to me and drink the beer." <laughs> well, that's. I always figured you either yeah. you either follow one person if you're diehard, or just stay put, man. And you'll see everybody. Get yeah, your pimento I'll, cheese sandwich and a beer. I, I walked up and down a. Uh, I walked up and down a few holes, but I mean, if you've ever been on a golf course. That's a long walk. So, I mean. Yeah. I don't want to break out. I don't want yeah. to break a sweat. Come you on You get now. too far away from the free <laughs> this beer. Booze that's, is, this booze is already making me sweat. Exactly. When you get too far away from the free free beer, that's not a good thing. There's free beer? Well, if you, I had the VIP tickets. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah. I'll, I'm going to every golf <laughs> yeah. tournament. From- free beer. <laughs> yeah. Do it, do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> what if you just yell dilly? Yeah. <laughs> you one dilly? What if you're like. Okay, you're silly, cool. silly, silly, yeah, silly, <laughs> silly, 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 silly. <laughs> I didn't say it. Hey, chilly didn't... Willy. <laughs> it's like playing Free red light, Willy. green light. Like, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. You're out. You're out. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, Simon didn't say. Yeah, it, Simon bitch. did not say dilly dilly. That is hilarious. Silly Billy. Well, hopefully, I, I guess I will tune into the Masters this weekend. Like, I'm, I'm starting to buy into the hype. I'm starting to think, okay. 
This is a good sporting event. I look forward to this. The par, th- the par three contest on Wednesday is always fun. You can record. It should be on ESPN. They do great coverage, but they well, basically this will come out on Thursday. So everyone yeah, should just tune into you. the first. I'm round. saying you. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Record that. It's cool because they just play the par threes, and like they're usually their kids or their or their girlfriend or their wife caddies. And then, like, they'll let the kids putt out on the on the close holes. So like it's all that. it's all for fun, you know. It's I not like a, that. So that's that's where yeah. they loosen up, exactly. Get, get going. Yeah, because I'm sure that's tense as shit being the biggest one. I mean, oh yeah, it means everything. It's like the Super Bowl. That's of, the green jacket, right? Yep, that's the green jacket. That's the big one. That's the one. So, I mean, Shooter McGavin's got a. He's, he's got a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's pretty good. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I think that really is what started the downfall of golf. Happy Gilmore. Couldn't have helped. <laughs> With the crowds. And, yeah. Uh, it just started. Happy, what are you doing? Looking for the rest of this bottle? Oh, there's some here <laughs> and there's some over there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, this weekend, I guess, you know, if you get the chance, tune into the Masters. I know that. In the last couple of years, I have started to institute a, well, no, I'm drinking on Sunday because um, yeah. I'm just watching the Masters. Yeah. <laughs> like, I sit out here, do a little bit of yard work, and then go in and watch, have a beer, do a little more yard work, go in, watch. It's not a bad, it's a very leisurely activity. It's actually like, like baseball is very leisurely to watch. This is even more leisurely it's to watch. Tra- it's it's her tradition, day. unlike any yeah, other. Got a few more say. days. <laughs> Good. That's right. I missed anything. Yeah, well, well, we'll sponsor it next year. You'll Hell see, yeah, they'll have us you'll all. see ITPH stickers. The ITPH hole? That would be a good one. That would be a good one. That's my favorite hole, the ITPH hole. It's the best one. You get 20% <laughs> off of uh, Palmetto sandwiches. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Palmetto and bourbon. <laughs> Just go up there and say, uh, ITPH, the Palmetto sandwich. They'll sandwich. know what you're talking about. Uh, it's a full price pimento sandwich, yeah. you jackass. Okay, but I, with I, a I, shot, I T P H, with a couple <laughs> fingers of bourbon. Is this a dilly dilly free zone? And some chicken wings. <laughs> you, he's a dilly dilly. <laughs> he's out. <laughs> get him out from behind that cheese stand. Uh, no, well, enjoy your. Can I get uh, a double dilly dilly? I'm about to have a double course light. <laughs> about to shut this thing down. Double I T P H. Now, Jason, thank you for coming out tonight, yeah, thanks, man. man. Despite this being the uh, the scene of the massacre, I know. Thanks for having me back. It's uh, it's good to see it. You are not the again. first, and you won't be the last. Yeah, you're always you're always welcome. And the ITPH house gets us all every now and then. It it does. There's no two ways about it. Unfortunately, it'll <laughs> it'll get the best of you. I'm sure there's listeners out there who've probably put a couple back more than they should have just listening oh, to yeah. this. <laughs> I've heard people say that they're like, you know what I like to do? I like to crack a few beers and listen to you guys drink beers. Then I don't feel like I'm drinking alone. I'm like, well, semantics. <laughs> <laughs> but good for you, tomato, tomato. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. No, thank you guys so much for tuning in every week. We we certainly do appreciate having you here. Uh, did I just a prish or a preach? I don't hear. Healy's not here. Yeah, I don't hear it. A prish, a prish. Fucking Next. hippie. It's just your, uh, it's just your accent just how it goes man now thank you guys so much for tuning in we certainly do uh we do thank you for doing it uh, i saw someone send over a cincinnati swap today we got uh we got a message and it it showed uh just someone's phone and someone was cincinnati swapping them i love that if you haven't had a chance to cincinnati swap thanks chris it's real easy you just uh grab someone's phone and subscribe them to the show i did it to my mom's ipad this past week when she wasn't yeah. looking so. Good for her. <laughs> She's a big fan. That's right. <laughs> she had it on her phone, but I was like, "Hey, this is a whole other device." That's right. I uh, I've noticed a lot of people still complaining about how difficult it is to um, to actually review the show. Someone handed me their phone uh, the other day, and I went in and tried to review it. What, and they said you do it. Sure enough, it wouldn't send. <laughs> I was like, "Well, that is difficult." So keep up the good fight, fellas. I certainly we certainly do like that you're trying. So keep it up. You'll get through there sooner or later. I don't know what to tell you. If you're having a hard time with iTunes, maybe try Podcast Addict or go over to Google Play and and give us a review there. All the reviews help. Every ecosystem is different, but the reviews do move us up the rankings. And we are seeing your reviews. A lot of you guys are reviewing, and we do appreciate it. Oh, my God. I saw a hilarious review this past week. I can't remember what it was, but, but I saw a great one. And then... The new review was hilarious, but just above it was fuck Fiona Face, yeah. which I thought was hilarious because Fiona Face is the only person who have ever given us just a all one over star you. review. And so I thought it was pretty hilarious to see that. So thank Fiona you, Fiona Face hates fun. 
That's what it was. It said Fiona Face hates fun. I do. I, I do love that. You guys are hilarious. I don't know about these blue uh, Miata shirts, but but seriously, you guys do such even funny. Funny. They're pretty sweet. <laughs> Look, the joke was good on many, many levels. So thank you, Jr. It was pretty damn funny. I'll give you that. Next time I'm in Vegas, I'm gonna get my hair did while I'm over there. I wish you would have got a small though. Next time I'm in medium. Vegas, I would go into the Jay Ruiz salon. And I'm going to ask him. <laughs> That's right. Like, Do you listen inside the Palette House? Do you recognize this one big swollen eye? <laughs> I'm Brendan. <laughs> You'll have you the shirt wear the on. Shirt, yeah. That's right. If you haven't had a chance to send in a topic or if you got a topic you want us to talk about, please send it in to the uh, inside the pallet house at gmail.com. Actually, there were a couple topics that I had on the board to talk about tonight. It's always the uh, case. It was, it was, it was, we didn't a, get to them. There's a great Bloody Mary out there in Vegas right. that we will talk about next week, hopefully. It was probably the coolest thing I'd seen in a while. So I, I do thank Lee for sending that. that That's one called in. a tease. That's a tease right there. If you haven't had a chance to check out the Facebook page, head over there and like us. I know everyone's leaving facebook right now the mass exodus but we've been telling you all along they've been collecting that information there shouldn't be a shock to <laughs> listeners i mean google's we, even worse <laughs> yeah we have we have covered this people i mean you don't think the other ones are going to take your information come on get with it you're they're, either a share or you're not they're all doing it so yep. don't be offended just go over and like the show and it'll officially become part of your profile just <laughs> welcome the new overlords that's all i can say <laughs> that's about right <laughs> So, and if you haven't had a chance to hit us up on Twitter, it's at ITPH Podcast. You can also do the same on Instagram there. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We uh, we do love the support, and we love hearing from you guys. We will talk to you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Later. I hate that was a, puppies. That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think? Ah, puppies. It's a good podcast. I feel threatened.